Good afternoon, explorers. Good afternoon. We're at the Marjorie Kinnon Rawling State Park today. Oh, it's located in Cross Creek, Florida. Mm -hmm. We are actually going to be visiting the home of Marjorie Kinnon Rawlings, where she was here from 1928 to 1953. Yes, this was her actual private home. Mm -hmm. and this is where she wrote The Yearling and her other book, Cross Creek. Yes. Yeah. So I don't know how much time we're going to have. The weather looks like it's starting to cloud up, but let's go ahead and uh, take a look around. Yeah, and then when we're done with that, we're going to head down the road and we're going to check out the Yearling Restaurant because supposedly the food is really good there. Yum. All right. Looks like this is a National Historic Landmark. Well, they do have tours, and it looks like the tour times are 10, 11, 1, 2, and 3. We got an old horse-drawn carriage in here. Check that out. Tour times of the house itself are only Thursday through Sunday. So if you come Monday through Wednesday, you're not gonna be able to see the inside of that house. So definitely plan ahead so that you can actually see inside her house. What's this to die for? A sleeping porch. 95% oh, okay. of what you see belongs to belong to Marjorie. All these different floors are different levels that was kind of piecemealed together yes. and the building in the back actually was brought in at a separate time. Yeah and they actually they redid this whole building with concrete because it was falling apart. Mm -hmm. And this is a lot of this is all the original furniture that was in the house that was when Marjorie was here. Yeah. It was built in 1884? 1884, yes. And it was only these two rooms here? Or yeah, it was only these two rooms. Yeah. And then the previous where. owner added on two little lean-tos. The Cracker House is always 10 to 12 feet high. Windows and doors on every outside wall. Uh -huh. And up off the ground for that geothermal effect to uh -huh. go up through the floorboards. Right. So the wooden mix and bowl that she painted. <clears throat> she made a cooking book. Mm -hmm. The books that are in print every year still is The Yearling, Cross Creek, and Cross Creek Cookery. We're actually here on a day where there was a tour happening, but by, they're known as the Sykes family, which interestingly enough, they have a big group. Their grandfather had built the bathroom, which was an addition to this house. So this is pretty cool. Talk about timing. This is her husband, and this is, this is her bathroom here. It was built in 1935 after the first one was built. My goodness, look at that hair. <laughs> it's not? Mom burned her hair with a curling iron. Oh, no. So mom crocheted a little hat. Oh, okay. And sewed real hair onto the hat. And put it on her head. First her First page of Cross Creek. This is from her bedroom over here. This is kind of sloping as you can see. And then this is kind of a porch here. You actually use the stove when you cook today? I make all the jams, jellies, and marmalades. Oh, that is so cool. Oh, cool. Oh, really? Yeah, that's so cool. Refrigerator? Yeah, this is a 
ice box. 40 pounds of ice every day would be delivered and put in here. That's that's amazing. It looks like you can buy her books here. Hey, Donna. We got a There's a nice little trail <laughs> right behind the house that you have to check out. On this trail, they actually have quotations from her. One last thing to note is that this also houses the Cape Barnes boat launch. So if you're into boating and you want to launch into the lake there, this would be a good opportunity. Yeah. But let's go get something to eat. Yeah, we're going to go head down to the Yearling now and go check that out. Um, just a reminder, make sure you bring cash because it's $3 in an honor box. Mm -hmm. And it looks like we're being chased out by the weather anyway. So yep. it's a good time to go inside. Yep. We'll see you over there. All right, we're at the Yearling restaurant. We're gonna go in and try the food. Yep, um, over to the this side over here, they have actually cabins you can rent too here. So we'll put a link below if you ever wanna come stay in this area and stay in some of these cabins. Mm -hmm. They'll put you close enough to Micanope and all that too if you really wanted to kind of <laughs> have a stop off point. Stuff in here. And then books. And this is a gift shop over here. Little gift shop. Okay, so they have a huge menu here, and it's all like it seems more like swamp food, so to speak. There's venison. There is a lot of gator on here. You can get gator bites. You can get actual gator, fried green tomatoes, all that stuff. Um, I don't see a lot of sandwiches on here. It's more heavy stuff. Um, you got catfish, you got grouper, you got redfish. What'd you get? I got me a fried grouper sandwich. Yeah, I ended up going with a chicken Caesar salad. So, and we got some fried green tomatoes. They did not have the pickles. This uh, place, from what we heard, runs out of things at times, but you are in the middle of nowhere, so. The fried green tomatoes came. Don't these look delicious? All right, ready to dig in? Yes. They're probably a little hot. It also comes with ranch, and I never remember this sauce. It starts with an R. Ruminar? Or it's like a water sauce. Yeah, something yeah. like that. <laughs> How else am I going to get it? Yeah. <laughs> The food has arrived. Yes, grouper sandwich. It looks delicious. Yeah. Chicken salad. This thing is huge. Look at yeah. it. It's huge. <laughs> I'm not gonna eat all that. No, well, do what you can. We will be taking the doggy bag, sorry. <laughs> Dig it. <laughs> well, that was delicious. Yeah, it was a pretty interesting place. There was books everywhere, um, that big stuffed alligator, yeah. you know, and all those uh, animals and stuff. And it was a toss-up. I really thought I was going to go for gator, but then at the last second I was like, I'm in the mood for grouper. Yeah, and my salad was actually pretty good. They, the chicken was seasoned some way, so I thought it tasted really good. So we hope you enjoyed us bringing you around and showed you around the Marjorie Kinnan Rawlings parks and restaurant. Yeah, so it's a nice little area. And like we said, they do have cabins here if you want to rent. We heard that there are one bedroom and there isn't even a two bedroom cabin. 
Um, we asked how much, and she said like 119 for the one bedroom and 175 for the two mm -hmm. per night. So that's not too bad. Not too bad at all. And there's a lot of lakes around here, so you can kind of hop on the lake if you want to. Especially if you got your boat with you. Yeah. So. Well, thank you for coming along with us. Keep exploring. And we'll see you on the next one.